Hi, I'm Lawrence Edison, Black Mountain Honey. Welcome to another episode of No Nonsense Beekeeping. Today, I'm gonna to review the automatic syringe from Andermatt UK. So Andermatt very kindly sent me this syringe free of charge, but I'm still gonna give you my honest review and recommendations for this product. You can buy this direct on Andermatt's site, which is www.andermattuk.com. I'll stick a link up in the comments and I'll put a link at the bottom of this video as well. Before we go any further, please check out honeybeebay.co.uk, an online beekeeping marketplace connecting buyers and sellers. Right, onto the review of the automatic syringe from Biomat UK. So why do you need an automatic syringe in beekeeping? Now, the reason that we use syringes uh, mainly is for trickling oxalic acid solution, whether that's an oxyvar uh, that comes from Andermatt or an apibioxal or any of the other products that are on the market that you can use for trickling. What you would normally use is one of the bog standard plastic syringes uh, and in my experience they are they're a little bit clumsy and they're quite difficult to control so this product here seeks to eliminate any of the error when you're using the manual syringes so automatic syringes we've discussed why we need them and i have to say i really do like the design of this product it's quite an expensive product so it's around 90 pounds 100 pounds including delivery and vat but it's really well designed. You can tell this is a medical grade product. I'm not sure what other uses they have for it. All I know is that it's really good for trickling Oxivar or any other oxalic acid solution onto your bees. So purpose of this video, I'm just gonna show you some of the features of this automatic syringe, show you how it works and tell you why I think it's a really good product. Right, so first off, you get a container at the bottom there. And no surprise, it is the exact same container where the Oxivar comes in. So if you're using Andermatt's trickling solution, which is Oxivar, also can be used as a spray solution, it fits directly onto this container. So that's really nice, nice design touch. You can see why they've done it to try and get you to buy their products. We're gonna review this product in a separate video, but I do think it's a good product um, and it works well with the automatic syringe. So when you take this off, you get quite a strange design inside. And I thought to myself, this is, this is a bit strange. It's not normally what I'm used to, but it's a nice design. And what it means is that it's gonna get all of the liquid until the very last drop. So you can tilt it all into the corner and then you're gonna be able to dispense all of the liquid in here without trying to tilt it with a, with a solid hose that you would get in normal products. So really nice design. They've definitely thought about that um, and they tried to make it as user-friendly as they possibly can. So then connecting out of the bottle, this all comes pre-assembled. You get a hose that goes all the way to the automatic dispensing unit. Now the dispensing unit, all it is, is like a plunger. Looks a little bit like a football pump. It connects into the, the hose that's gonna transfer whatever oxalic acid solution you've got in there. You've got a dispensing nozzle here, and then you've got a calibration chamber in there so you can calibrate how much you want to dispense on each push of this lever. So as you can see on this video here, the calibration is really, really easy. It's just done on a thumb wheel and it goes from one milliliter to five milliliters. And when we're using oxalic acid, any of the products that are on the market, we go for five milliliters per seam. So I've calibrated this one to give me five milliliters for each push of this lever here. Now to show you this product working effectively, I'm gonna do it with Ribena. So all you need to do is put some solution in there Obviously this will be oxalic acid solution, not Ribena. And then just screw the lid on. I find it easier to screw the base as opposed to screwing the top. That way you're not putting any torsion stress within the pipe, just trying to kind of keep that longevity. And that's it, it's set up and it's ready to dispense. You've got the calibration set, so we set that to five milliliters. And then all we do is we just press in that down. That's creating suction within the pipe. And you can see it's coming through like that now. So if you do a full dispense like that, and then a nice slow retrieve, that completely fills the chamber and then there's no air in it. And you can put it out again, nice retrieve, and you're just getting that minimum amount of air. So what I like to do with this is I like to just dispense it all out and I take it just a little bit back past the five mil and then that accounts for the air bubble that you get each time and it's a consistent amount. So you're probably having about 5.5 mil in the chamber that accounts for the air bubble, means you're gonna get a really accurate dispense each and every time. And that's pretty much about it. This is a really nice, simple product. It takes the stress out of mixing up oxalic acid and then repeatedly trying to fill up your syringe um, and then overdosing your bees on a seam by seam basis. This 
guarantees that each press that you have on that lever here is gonna dispense exactly five millilitres of solution. Make sure you're getting the correct concentrations per solution, and then you've got absolutely no chance of overdosing your bees. It's quite difficult to overdose your bees on oxalic acid, but you don't wanna be giving them too much, and there is a risk that it can do damage to the bees if you give them too much solution. So I really, really do like this product. Like I say, it's available from www.andamatuk.com. They're also on Amazon, they're also on eBay. If you just Google Andamat automatic syringe, you'll see the product come up. But without a doubt, I would recommend this product. If you're going down the route of um, trickling and you don't wanna get into sublimation, and that is the argument for a completely different video, I think this is an excellent tool, it's good, it works well, it's well designed, and it's a good, safe and effective way to add oxalic acid to your bees to help eliminate Varroa mites. So finally, thanks to Andamat UK for sending this product in. I appreciate you sending me the products to review. As I've said before, this is an honest review recommendation. I've not been paid anything to say any of this, although the product has been provided for me for free. So we're gonna do a separate video showing how to apply the Octivar to your bees. I'm gonna do that video straight after this one, but we're gonna cover it in a separate video. I'm gonna use the automatic dispenser syringe and actually show you how to apply it to bees. And I'll show you how you can get that really good control over your bees to make sure that you're getting a, the correct dosing per seam. So as always, thanks for watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the bell so you're notified of every video and I'll see you next time.